volcanoes. What do we know about volcanoes? Well, they're very hot. And when I think of very hot, especially when it comes to volcanoes, um, you'll probably think of magma. I like to think of ig igneous rock, you know. You know, you got the three, three types of rock. Igneous, sedimental, metamorphic. I think it's, it, no, it's se sedimental? Is it sedimental? Or is it like se sediment? Or, yeah, the se sediment, sediment. It's just sediment, right? Se Where am I going with this? You may be asking yourself. And the truth is, is, um, I really don't know. Sometimes when I don't have an intro idea, I just say whatever comes to my mind. And, um, volcanoes apparently was the thing that came to my mind. And usually, you know, I would like to, you know, segue back into what we're watching, you know, in a very clever way. You know, and right now it's just not working out. You know, how do you connect volcanoes with elements of justice? Well, the answer is you don't. And you just pretend that you did by literally just saying anything that comes to your mind. And then just saying why you did... Let's just start the video. Previously on Elements of Justice. Previously on Elements of Justice. Oh, wait, I gotta... I'm sorry. I was probably kind of loud. My bad. Today's proceedings shall center around the collapse of Wonderbolt Reservist Streamline. The hospital Not streaming. No. Administered a tox screen, but the initial report came back negative. The victim was poisoned with a substance known as Grickle. Oh yeah, it's Cloud Guy. Ah, that's right, the poison. I wonder what would happen if I streamed, streamed, streamed. <laughs> you know, the, you know that, that little thing right there kind of looks like a bee, just a little bit. Well, maybe she is a cheater. My eyes tell me that I think Rainbow is hot. The court will be given a 15 minute recess while the prosecution prepares their next witness. And something tells me I'm going to need it. Oh, that's right. There's like a, there's a, the witness. There's like a new witness. And considering that the thumbnail has Pinkie Pie on it, I'm pretty sure the witness is, is, um, is Pinkie Pie. Lost Legend! Lost Legend! Wait a second, wait a... Somebody called the local legend. The local legend has returned! <laughs> oh... Now this is, this is a really, really, really long time ago callback to a, a joke on my channel. You see, back in the Demon's Daughter episode 1 reaction, you know, we had the local legend. We all remember the local legend. That's a complete lie. I'm the only one who remembers the local legend. My boy, my sweet, my sweet, sweet boy. But, you know, lost legend. The local legend. He's back. <clears throat> February 21st, 2 p.m. Cloudsdale District. Court. Defendant Lobby number four. I can't believe it. The nerve of her hiding that from me. Man, this text is so big on a laptop. What the heck? Sonata? No. Everything looks so clear. Apparently, I'm the only pony around here with a brain. I have a brain. I'm like that guy. I don't know anything about that guy. Hey, the pain! Yeah! Painting? The lore painting. Y yeah, earlier. I saw you looking at it really intensely. And you Imagine, like, staring at a painting and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> that would have made a lot. That joke would have made a lot more sense if, you know, I had, like, a webcam or, like, a camera or something. 
but like you're just like complete angry eyes just staring at the picture you're just like something mm. <laughs> about the pony ad did i you said that you knew him that he helped you out a while ago oh yes that's right he's got so, a tie in the background who is he? some pony you met at school he was my old boyfriend. How old do you think I am? Well, I meant he just gives off a teacher vibe. You know, I can see that. I can see that. He does give off a teacher vibe. He's kind of like a mentor figure. And well, based on how you briefly spoke. It's always a mentor figure. Okay. I suppose I can see that. But no, he wasn't a teacher. Okay, okay. That is Atticus. Atticus. Why does that name sound... Why does that name sound familiar? I know that's an that's an important name. Wait, lockkeeper? But I thought the lockkeeper is equity. That's still true. He, however, okay. was the previous lockkeeper. Okay, okay. The previous. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Atticus. I guess that means lockkeeper equity has some big horseshoes to fill. No wonder she's so tough. She probably spent years working her way to the top. And now she's head of the High Council itself. Her path has definitely been rather unique. Well, Sounds I like, like unique. Else I know. But yes, the pony in this painting is the previous law keeper. And I didn't meet him in school, by the way. I asked oh, him about a year ago. so he's still alive. A year. Wait, hang on. That was... You were still in jail, weren't you? I was, yes. Hmm. It's funny. I hadn't gotten any visitors, not after you. And I didn't expect any pony to stop by. Then one day, he did. Huh. I, I wonder why. meeting behind bars. It's the stuff of children's tales and make-believe. Oh. Sometimes, I wonder if it really did happen. Chance meeting, you say. But what if it wasn't by chance? But then I remember what he did. What he said. <clears throat> how kind he was to me. I didn't think I deserved it, but he was kind regardless. Um, he is a true element of kindness. Why did you meet him while in prison? Well, you know, it just felt like it. You know, prison seemed like a pretty comfy home to me. You know, just decided to live there, you know, wait for a good old lawkeeper Atticus to just show up one day be like, Hey, what's up? How you doing, Mamma Mia? Ah, uh, well, you see, <clears throat> Rainbow, hello. How you? How, okay. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Lucy, you've got some explaining to do. What's there to explain? How about not telling us your true relationship with Streamline? You make it sound like she and I were close. Close enough for you to accuse her of cheating. Oh, so I'm the bad guy? You're your own worst enemy here, Rainbow. Do you have any idea how badly you've jeopardized your entire case? How I jeopardized it? What about you, Sonata? What about your last performance? Can we all just talk about this over some nice tea, some nice lemonade? Can I, I can sure go for some nice ice cold lemonade. I don't like lemonade, by the way. You know, I've been doing a lot of lying, you know. Recently on the channel, I would like to formally apologize about that. You know, I feel very bad for lying to all of you guys so many times throughout the couple of years that I've had this channel. <clears throat> that was also a lie, by the way. Get hecked, idiot. Huh? Some attorney I'd find. You didn't bother speaking for, like, half of the stupid trial. And you didn't even present any evidence. And no matter what that detective or Captain Spitfire said, you didn't even object. Even Flutterjai could have done something as simple as that. Rainbow Dash. So why don't you get up your cold, moral high ground and take a hard look at yourself, huh? Ooh. Because as far as any pony can tell, you're purposefully tanking my case. That's enough, you two. I love how their personalities bounce off each other so well in that in that argument just good stuff right there look rainbow 
I get why you didn't want to tell us what you accused Streamline of being. It could easily be spun <coughs> into a motive. And if that had come out, it would have made it that much harder to defend you. That's why you kept silent, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly why. Huh. But Sonata's still right. You not sharing that information with us has put us in a really bad spot. Now, the scales have almost certainly been tipped in the prosecution's favor. Ah, shucks. Nix, you're not seeing. Don't you remember our conversation the night before Athena's trial? Oh! Ow, whoa! That was such a long time ago. That was like a, a year ago. I remember that. <laughs> I remember... <laughs> That was like one of the first Bonds of Justice episode. I think it was the... No, it was the second. I, th I believe it was the second. I remember... I'm just like, alright guys, it's time to start a whole brand new Elements of Justice episode. And I started the Bonds of Justice episode. Not knowing it's a Bonds of Justice episode until like halfway through. I remember that Bonds of Justice episode. That was a really good one. But like, that's really cool that they're mentioning it in case 3-5... Like, that is such a long time past. Like, that's awesome. Trusting the attorney. Trusting them to uncover the truth. Before Athena's trial? I... I do. I do remember. It's just... <sighs> Stop. Don't stare at me like that, Phoenix. I need you to clarify one other thing for what Detective Reed and Captain Spitfire said about you repeatedly accessing Streamline's locker. Was it true? Yeah. All of it. All of it? Yeah. I managed to figure out Streamline's locker combo after watching her for a little bit. That's how I was able to open her locker. And from there, you could swap out the juice boxes as you pleased. Rainbow. How? How could you do this to yourself? This means that the only information left from our investigation is reached a dead end. But like, she didn't do the poison, right? She, I'm, I'm pretty. She didn't do the like the poison. So if she didn't do the poison, why was she switching out the the juice boxes out in the first place? It's useless now. I may as well forget about that particular fact. A juice box from Rainbow Dash's locker was found in the victim's locker. Oh. We are worse off than I anticipated. Great. Hey, that's just gonna make it all the better when we rise up. You know, when you hit rock bottom, there's only one way to left to go up. It, it, that is that is up. I whoa. <laughs> I really messed up that quote. <laughs> Ms. Dash, does this mean you? There you go. How could you even think that, Sonata? You're supposed hey, to hey, 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 relax, relax, relax. I've been telling you that this entire time. We're at a disadvantage then. We're only learning of this now, but it seemed to me that Prosecutor Luna knew already. Yeah, she did. She basically tore it out of me during my interrogation. Tore it out of you? Ah! That was my uh, intim um, intimidation. No, Im imi imitation. That's the word. Imi <laughs> that was my imitation of uh, Luna tearing the information out of Rainbow Dash. It was a really rough session, like really rough, rougher than Captain pep talks or one of Twilight's lectures. I'm pausing a lot. I could say I'm sorry. I will say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the fact that Luna gave more of a rough time than Spitfire. Ooh. Like, that's such an interesting detail to, to slip in there. And considering what happened before, like, because of Case 2. You know, what happened because of that to Luna in that one Bonds of Justice episode. Could be because of that. 
Well, got some change of character here. You don't call her the dark mayor of the courtroom for nothing. But then again, maybe not. No. <clears throat> this was different. Okay, maybe so. It, ugh, how do I explain this? It's a little bit harsher. Look, I know Princess Luna is an intense pony, but she's never acted that way before. Ooh. At least not since. Uh, not since eh, what? We're trying to keep quiet. Nah, they wouldn't do Nightmare Moon. Nah, ha, ha, ha. They, they wouldn't do Nightmare Moon. I don't know. But what the? Exactly spilled their guts during an interrogation. There are at least some things they didn't <clears throat> tell their defense attorneys. Right. Better to tell the one who is actually fighting for your freedom than the one meaning to ensure you lose it. Princess Luna should be well acquainted with that. Acting this way, it's... It's chicken nuggets! No, it's... Even more chicken nuggets! If Luna truly was that hurt from the last trial, there may be no telling what she's willing to do during this one. Oh. A predictable prosecutor is even more deadly than a gimmicky one. This is a cool way to spice it up a bit, you know, considering that we had Luna for like nine parts in case two or well she wasn't in every part it was more like f i would say about five she was had some sort of prominent role in the case but this is a cool way to you know spice it up because we've already got a lot of luna in case two and since we're getting even more of luna in case three they're really do doing a great job of you know putting her character in a, in a different direction really you know like what's the word like i don't not evolving but like um like changing her character in a natural way but like to make her even more antagonistic but also like very sympathetic oh it's just mm, it's such an interesting direction to take luna and Especially, like, because you see in the Phantom, you see a lot in the Phantom, you have, like, the antagonistic kind of Luna, you know, change it to Nightmare Moon, that kind of sort of thing. You've seen it a lot, but this is, like, a new type of, like, antagonistic Luna, at least for me. And it's just, oh, it feels good, man. It feels fresh. Anyway, my guess is Princess <clears throat> Luna's gonna use that information when we get back in there. She'll probably have that next witness talk about it. Speaking of... Do you have any idea who this witness might be? Not a clue. It's Pinkie Pie. Do you think it could be another one? Nope. Um, maybe. There were a lot of them there. Then again, maybe it won't be Pinkie Pie. It could be Soren or High Wind. Surprise. Maybe even Surprise. Whoever surprise, surprise party. The claim that Rainbow tampered somehow with Streamline's juice boxes. No doubt the prosecution is counting on that. That's her last loose thread as far as Luna's concerned. And if that happens, we're Now, we haven't got a lot of Pinky in Elements of Justice, so I'm glad we've got Pinky as a witness here. Ms. Dash, on the day of the incident, you were swapping out Streamline's juice box. Don't remind me. But what happened to the one you swapped out? I drank. I think Took a good if sip. We just find it, we might be able to use it somehow. Maybe even find some discrepancy that the prosecution overlooked. Hmm. Whatever that juice bucket it would even be. Defense attorney, the trial is about to reconvene. <clears throat> Present yourself and your co-counsel to the courtroom immediately. Can do. You need to come with me. Uh, hey, I've got legs, you know. I can walk myself in just fine. Yet again, interrupted by the tragedy of poor time management. Ain't that just uh, let's of justice for you? Could it help in some way? I guess there's no point in dwelling on that. I'll just have to ask once we get a free moment. Where could it be indeed? No point in Put your theories in the comments, boys. Before Prosecutor Luna chews me out for being tardy. Hey, wait a sec. What is it now, Mr. Wright? Look, I can tell you really want to help Rainbow out, even if she keeps thinking otherwise. And you've been doing great, all things considered. But 
What you, what you talking about, Phoenix? That stuff I told Rainbow about trusting the attorney goes both ways. She doesn't trust you. I think we both can mm -hmm. Obviously. But you gotta trust her. You'll need to get her to trust you. And you'll need to do that by showing you genuinely do care for her. I know, Rainbow. Words won't cut it with her. You need to show your faith through actions. I like that. This moment, but I know you'll figure out a way. No matter how bad this seems, you'll forge a path ahead. After all, you've gotten this far. Let's head inside, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Phoenix, why are you scared? What, what, what is the door scary or something? <laughs> Man opens the door. He's just like, oh, oh my god! Don't open the door like that. Oh my. God. You kind of scared me half to death. February 21st, 2 10 p.m. Cloudsdale District Court. Grou courtroom number five. The court is now back in session. Prosecutor Luna, has your witness arrived yet? Hey, wait a sec. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yes, Your Honor. It seems our witness had a little trouble finding the courtroom and got sidetracked. But rest assured, they are more than capable of enlightening us about the method of juice transport. <laughs> the method of juice transport. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Other things? I'm happy to hear. Would you please call this witness to the stand? Certainly, Your Honor. This is it. This could make or break my pinky pie. Pinky pie. Pinky pie. Maybe they were in the middle of preparing their testimony, trying to make it as ironclad as possible. No. Whoever they are. No. Whatever they're capable of. I can't. <laughs> Whatever they're capable of. Oh, this could be a really menacing opponent right now. Give me. <laughs> it is pinky pie to get the get pinked. <laughs> That's such a great chapter title. Hello, Pinky. <laughs> I, you Give Pink. I know you. You're that lady who so tell me and Phoebe broke into that one time. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Pinky, now's not the time. Hi, there's Phoebe now. Hey. Hi, Phoebe. And hey, there's Rainbow too. Hi, Rainbow. Hi, Rainbow. <laughs> As, as they do. Hmm. All rise for the stand. I love this. I love this. Pinky in a trial set. Why haven't more people done this? This is this is fantastic. Thank you for pinking me. Is there enough food for me? <laughs> no, I mean, no, nah, it's the best time. It's the best time. Of course. Okay, you're meant to be testifying as a witness? That sounds like a pretty big problem to me. Honestly, I that, I would the same thing would happen to me. If I was a witness in a courtroom, I would get lost. It would suck, but I would get lost. I recently started traveling to Cloudsdale to visit Rainbow Dad. So I'll tell a teeny bit unfamiliar with where everything is. After a while, I didn't know where I was, and I ended up finding a lot of cool places I'd never seen before. Hey. What'd you see? What'd you see? Did you know you can make up what? with the right kind of cloud? Oh, that's cool. No, so now, next time I see a cloud, you know, just eat some cotton candy. I was originally doing. Before I knew it, I was right at the entrance to the courthouse. <laughs> I suppose you could say I had my <laughs> head in the cloud. Butts. Save the puns for a party, not the courtroom. 
I think this is the perfect time for puns. It's very punny. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> you can't crack Pinky. You can't crack her. You got me smiling, Pinky. <laughs> I love how the judge was just like, ho, 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 ho. And he just did not move his his face or his mouth at all. It, he just laughed with the most just frowning face ever. Just... Hell yeah. I guess it's nice to see you, Pinky. Despite the circumstances. But as much as I love a bit of light-hearted banter, Prosecutor Luna is right. Boo. So please, do as she says and state your name and occupation for the record. No problem, Judgy. <laughs> This is pink. This is this is peak Pinkie Pie right here. This is peak. I keep wanting to say pink. This is pink Pinkie Pie. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, this is pink Pinkie Pie. I love this. Well, that's how you spell Luau's. <laughs> Oh my god. I love this pinky more than the actual show pinky right now. What's the deal with the juice boxes? Best testimony ever. Hey, Phoenix. Yes, Sonata. This might be a little silly to ask, but you've interacted with Pinky way more than I ever have, and even with my talent of observation, she eludes me. So, um, do you have any advice for how to approach her? Um, Pinkie Pie definitely isn't what I'd call an easy witness. But from what I've seen. She's a much wiser pony than she appears. Yep. Even if most of what she says seems a bit nonsensical, you could bet that there's at least something there you want to dig deeper. I'd... Honestly, this is one of the reasons why I relate to Pinkie Pie a bit. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Uh, you could call me a little bit egotistical for saying this. You could. But I feel like I'm also kind of the same way, where um, I say something nonsensical but there's still something to it, you know? There's still some sort of meaning packed behind it. There's still a reason why I've said it, you know? So you try to ignore the unnecessary details and search for those little nuggets that could prove useful to our case. Hmm. I'll give it a shot. I appreciate it. No problem, Sonata. What's the deal with the juice boxes, am I right, boys? Rainbow Dash asked me over a week ago to bring some juice to the Academy. Did you find it strange that Rainbow asked you to bring some juice? I actually did. No pony needs that much juice all at once, so I knew something was up. And do you know what I suspected? Party. What was that? Party. Juice Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, that animation. Holy wait, hold on. I wanna I wanna I wanna. Was that? 
Whoa! That's a cool animation. Intervention party, let's go. Bless her soul. I have a juice addiction. Like that. Have you ever heard of withdrawal? Well, of course. That's one of the reasons why I decided against it. <laughs> All right, Pinky. Juice addiction? <clears throat> why, I never even thought of that. <laughs> Would such a thing really be possible, though? <laughs> Funniest episodes in the series, I swear. Uh, no, Your Honor. <laughs> when we get on with it, we don't have all day. This is also really good for Luna's character here and in, in developing Luna's character here in the case, you know, because she's she was wanting to be all serious and such, you know, want to just get to the point. And we have Pinky the and the judge bouncing off each other so well with their comedic tangents. It's so good! It's so good! Yes! Start things! Now, as I was saying... <laughs> and I asked her what kind of juice, apple juice, grape juice, orange juice, and she stopped me and said supplying some to that, I was like... Ooh! I know a guy. Hold it. You know a guy? I knew this guy who 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 The one that lives on Drury Lane. <laughs> They're doing it. Juice box bear. The juice box bear. He's married to the juice box bear. <laughs> <Objection. laughs> the juice box bear is not <laughs> this line of questioning. Witness, you will speak this oh. way and provide us with pertinent testimony. So big words are Luna. Oh, uh, this might be my favorite episode so far in case three. We're going to ignore the irrelevant details. That sounded important, though, and suspicious. When some pony says they know a guy, don't you get a feeling that this guy might be a little shady? Of course. Literally, yes. Pinky, not so much. True. It is Pinky. She asked me to bring four boxes to be delivered to the edge of the academy out of every pony sight. Super sneaky like. Hold it. So, no pony saw you? Nope. Like I said, I was super sneaky like. Rambo was right behind <coughs> me because she's only like medium, medium sneaky. I think I'm kind of small sneaky. I'm not very sneaky. Wasn't under oath. <laughs> and why did Ms. Dash ask you to keep it a secret? I just figured she didn't want anybody finding out about her juice addiction. Of course you did. <laughs> so. You were perfect, good? Pinky. Yeah, Absolutely perfect. Good, Pinky. Real good. Maybe even the best. 
at leaving the courtroom at a loss for words. <clears throat> uh, uh, pardon me if I'm being a bit dense, but what was the purpose of this testimony again? Mm, I'm just well, rainbow switch Bellina, juice boxes. This was to tell us how poison was brought on. Oh, wait, 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 really? That, <laughs> wait, uh, you still did a great job, Pinky. Even though you're supposed to tell us how poison got onto the, the you know the 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 place the the clouds of the academy, you, you still did you still did great. But near as I can tell, that wasn't quite what was said, was it? We admit that Miss Pie's penchant for pontificating makes our she said we. point appear pointless. <laughs> Gosh, that's a lot of peace, Prosecutor Luna. It was. You know, <laughs> then, with all due respect, Prosecutor Luna, this hasn't done your argument any favors, has it? That's good it for us. Without merit, if I'm being honest. Only part of it, Your Honor. Besides, <clears throat> we are working through a situation built on subterfuge and intrigue. Can you stop using big words? I want to understand what you're saying, Luna. And frankly, your big words and, and big smartness are making me feel dumb and sad. So like, you know, I'm gonna this this mouse. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna rub this mouse in your eye. H how do you feel about that, huh? How do you feel about that? You feel bad now? All right, good. Now no, stop stop saying big words. To assume every component of this case is clear cut. Normally, her admitting that would make me want to celebrate, but I have a feeling that she came to that conclusion during the testimony. I guess even she couldn't predict or control what Pinky was going to say. Which would usually be a win for us, but Luna doesn't look too nervous because of that, or at all. It's like she's recovered completely. Does that mean she's setting up another argument? Better not jump the horseshoe. I need to wait and see what she's up to. Nevertheless, though it was a bit unorthodox, the testimony has illuminated a certain point, namely, the origin of the juice boxes the defendant used to commit the crime. Isn't that right, defendant? And Nady McSqueezy. Oh, right. That was something we needed to clarify. <clears throat> Indeed. And Nady McSqueezy. It wasn't the only reason I called in this witness today. Now, isn't there something else? Why are you, why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at her all so ugly? Uh oh. More testimony. I'm scared. What is this type of cult? Nope, we're stalling. Get pink. Is this one. But what else could she have seen? And why did it make her suddenly deflate? <clears throat> Very good. Therefore, witness, you will now testify as to what you saw. All right. What's this type of cult? Do you know? Is there is there more to the chapter? View chapter. I can't view chapter. I can't view chapter. I can't view chapter. No, but like, why? No, why? Why? Why does that not work? Go with details. Oh, do you know? Okay, I'm done. Oh, uh, wait, 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 what? What's happening? Oh. Oh. Okay, we're okay. We're good. <laughs> Pinky's back. Pinky's back again. <laughs> I went back to Wonderbolt Academy after hearing that Rainbow wanted more juice. I was going to say no because I didn't want to enable her, but going cold turkey wasn't going to help. So I planned to bring half of what I did last time. When I got there, I saw a cool tornado turn into everything. Rainbow can do tornadoes. That's uh oh. The tornado again. Oh no. Does this mean? Good. Gracious! An entire tornado? The winds must have been incredibly fierce that day. Just like me. Here in Equestria, tornadoes are the product of weather teams, not wayward winds. Oh. Ah. <laughs> but note my specific wording. Weather teams. In other words, an entire team of Pegasus. Yeah, but Ramadash can just 
Whip, 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 whip. Just like that. Oh, not the Philly. Fleetfoot. Both are receiving medical care at the moment. Huh. Why does Rainbow look shocked by that? Did she not know that there'd been a tornado? Surely she must have known. There's still too many. But I suppose we should be thankful <clears throat> that the injured numbered so few. Defense. I agree, Dud. Do yeah, judge. Pinky's back again. We're still getting pinked. Oh, no, hold it there. Okay. <laughs> we can't do this again, Pinky. You can't, you can't do this again. You will cease this tomfoolery, witness. Oh, damn. Do you understand? Luna, Luna, I don't I don't think you can do that in the courtroom, you know. I don't think you can make somebody do that, you know. I want to know who the juice box mare is. What if it's Trixie? <laughs> Do you know the juice box mare? It's a great running gag. Why do you so why did you sound nervous when you said that? Hmm? I saw it being nearby. By who? Witness. I saw a single pony. And you pony. knew who it was. <sighs> no. She can't be. <sighs> she can't be. See, I was gonna do a joke here where, like, I said, it can't be, and, like, insert, like, a really f funny, like, Pegasus, you know, instead of Bramble Dash. Like, I could've, I could've said Fluttershy. I could've been like, no, it can't be! It was Fluttershy! But I couldn't, I couldn't think of it, you know? So, now we're here. Yup. I, I have to ask her. Who did you see? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, well, I would say, but... It's Rainbow. It's Rainbow. It's reading Rainbow. It it, it was a pony with <clears throat> Okay, but she didn't specifically say Rainbow Dash, though. She may have just seen the rainbow hair. Framing. Framing does exist. Not the rainbow hair. There could be another pony with rainbow hair. We don't know. You mean <laughs> what? That's impossible! Can you see what is laid plain before you? The witness has seen with her own eyes the perpetrator of this event. <laughs> That's not what I meant. That is ridiculous, Prosecutor Luna. Why would my client generate a tornado at all? Do not tell me you are lagging behind already, defense. I am lagging hard. I got jet lag. If your stalwart refusal to accept facts has left you as blind as a bat, I shall happily shine a light upon these dark corners. This Getting metaphorical over here. And the poisoning incident both occurred on the same day. This obviously cannot be a coincidence. Rainbow Dash wanted to poison.
mountains streamlined, but did not want to get caught. Moreover, she did not want the victim treated in time. Distraction. The tornado was distraction. For both things to happen. She needed bystanders' eyes watching something else. Therefore, she uh, yeah. the tornado in an attempt to draw attention away from streamlined. Yeah, but she wouldn't cause danger to ponies, though. That way, streamline would succumb to the effects of the ponies. She's reckless, but she's not that reckless. She's she would be, she's loyal, you know. She's the element of loyalty. Covering her tracks, Rainbow Dash has dug her own grave. Prosecutor, that still doesn't make any sense. Uh, why not, Defense? That follows a certain grim logic to my eyes. Does because we heard from Captain Spitfire before the trial that the tornado occurred on the other side of the academy. Rainbow Dash was doing mandatory training. Yeah, but she's fast enough to do that. Including streamline. You weren't seriously suggesting she was in two places at once. Well, as though she had clones. <laughs> We're back to the clones. Cloned herself. <laughs> Oh, that was a good rabbit hole, though. That was a good one. Then it's your duty as a prosecutor to back up your claims with evidence, not guesswork. How could Rainbow Dash have generated the tornado while she was training with Streamline? The answer is quite simple. And moreover, it can be found by re-examining testimony given earlier today. Oh, I do not like the sound of that. Did you forget that Captain Spitfire also mentioned Rainbow Dash's speed records from the Academy? She's the fastest flyer in Equestria, basically. It's not an exaggeration to say that Rainbow Dash is one of our fastest flyers. Streamline's almost just as good, too. The good hmm. captain isn't alone in this regard. She's also Fire just as... She's also almost just as good. Find most memorable about their favorite daughter. They would, without a doubt, point to You know, the fact that, um, Streamline is almost as good as Rainbow Dash, wouldn't that count as some sort of motive for Streamline to frame Rainbow Dash, potentially? To her speed. Ask her <clears throat> yourself if you so wish. I wonder, will she lie about her competence as a flyer? Or will her pride once again be her undoing? There's one thing I know about Rainbow Dash. It's that she is as sure of herself as the day is long. I even so... Let me get it. You would argue that Rainbow Dash could not have left training without being seen. That does seem a reasonable thing to conclude. There were many ponies at this event, weren't there? True. But consider other contextual factors, Your Honor. While training is mandatory, eyes are not on the reservist all the time. There are too many, after all, doing too much all at once. If an opening presented itself, and given the defendant's own speed, she could have easily flown away, created the tornado, and flown back. All after poisoning the victim, no doubt. Bam, 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 bam! And bad luck that Streamline collapsed when she did. Quad Erat Demonstrandum. Luna. What do we say? What did we just talk about with big words? Like, seriously. C come on. Come on. Quad Erat Demonstrandum. Used to convey that a fact or situation demonstrates the truth of one's theory or claim, especially to mark the conclusion of a formal proof. That which, what's to be demonstrated? I'm a scholar. I'm a scholar, guys. <laughs> Yes, you see, I will disprove it with the evidence of trust me, bro. Oh no. Luna has me pinned. I don't have enough evidence to make an objection against that kind of logic. I didn't think she would have all of this put together so soon. 
object anyway. Show to Rainbow Dash that you care by taking action. I should have jumped on this when I had the chance. What? Who? Who said that? Pinky. Let's go, Pinky. Let's go, Pinky. Oh, hell yeah, Pinky. As to be expected from Rainbow's accessory to this heinous offense. Luna. Rainbow wouldn't try anything like this. She's only done little pranks with the past. All of them are harmless. Like this one time where all the cupcakes in Mrs. Cake's bakery were replaced with objection. Finish that sentence. Finish that sentence. Well, I'm about to throw you away from this courtroom. I think only the judge could make that kind of threat. Do you think Prosecutor Luna cares about proper decorum at this point? She's going off the rails. Are the facts, witness, and I can name two of the most important. Streamline was poisoned, and Rainbow Dash was the one who poisoned her. She's really going at it. Oh! Play the empathy card. Pathos. In fact, she did. Rainbow Dash cares not for the dreams of others as I do. Luna. Mouth is agape, jaw is dropped. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, like I was saying earlier with those with that argument between Sonata and Rainbow Dash, like the the dynamics and like the characters work so well off each other when it comes to like these types of arguments. And I was really hoping that they were gonna show some of that more like aggressive, like more non-empathetic Luna in this episode that they were kind of alluding to in the beginning. I'm so glad they, they, they showed some of that. Because, oh! She, oh! It's such an interesting change to her character. I, I love it. Voice actors also going hard. Amazing. And the way that escalated, it escalated so well. And I love how Pinky just came into for the defense of Rainbow Dash there. I love that. She's she's taken Pinky's literally taken more action against Luna than Sonata is right now. You know, Sonata, you got to do what Pinky's doing over here. You you, you can't just like throw you got to throw logic out the window for a second and just go ham. Just go in cuz Luna, Luna Luna's given logic, but she's having especially in this moment right here where she's kind of dropped logic and kind of just went like, "Nope, nope, it's Rainbow Dash. She did it. Get her in jail." And I was thinking about this earlier 
where I'm just like, you know, Luna and Rainbow Dash and the main six in general have, like, a really rich history together, you know? Like, they're pretty much good friends, you know? So, it's, it's, it's making me wonder, like, man, Luna really is going harsh for somebody who knows the main six so well and have shown such, like, friendly ties with them for such a long time and i'm so glad that they kind of like delve in you just delve into that a little bit here like that was just mm, 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 tasty scene delicious absolutely fantastic think but what even is there left to think about pinky spitfire philo, philo. none of them have offered anything oh the clock guy with their testimonies darn it if only streamline was awake then I could at least have some pony else give testimony. No pony else was there when- Also the fact that Luna was just like, it'll be the last word you speak on record or something like that. Oh! 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 Wait, some pony else was there during all of this. <laughs> you know what? I- <laughs> You're not doing your job at all, prosecutor! No! Oh, hit her with the princess. Pinky's going ham. Let's go, Pinky. I will not allow a full blown argument to take place in my courtroom. Miss Pie, though you are understandably upset for speaking out of turn, no, removed from the witness stand. I forbid any more testimony from you today. Pinky, <laughs> no. Banter is one thing, but this is beyond the pale. Tread carefully and with dignity, or you will be penalized. Penalized. We. I, I apologize for my behavior. Bailiff. Es we. I. Ap Hold on, there's 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 a there's a meme for this. Hold on, let's see if I can find it. Hold on a second. This is how I feel with this episode right now. Oh god, it's so good. Mmm, mm, so good. Mmm, so good and tasty. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> this episode, man. It will give all of us some time to calm down. Oh, just fades out. Wow. <clears throat> I think we can all say that this trial's progression has been unorthodox. I love it. Still, the prosecution has proven the link between Rainbow Dash and Streamline. Does the defense have anything they'd like to add? Let me make sure I'm still recording. I'm still recording. Cool. A calamitous climax. Luna showed her hands to her. If there was any time to call her bluff, it's now. I don't think we can hold out any longer. I... Yes. I agree. Now's our chance. I'm possibly... have the judge come. But with some work, we can start regaining our footing. Better start with the best line of attack. <clears throat> I do have a few points worth mentioning, Your Honor. Then let us hear them. <coughs> While I think we can all agree that the prosecution has done their due diligence, they have taken the focus off our original problem. This case isn't centered around a tornado. It's about the so-called poisoning that claimed to streamline that very day. Do you have more to add on that subject? I thought it was cleared up pretty neatly. Except for two things about it, actually. The first would be Rainbow swapping out those juice boxes. Thank you. Thank you. Why would she do that? It's easier for some pony to simply put the poison in Streamline's drink without swapping them at all. That point is still irrelevant. No matter how much you hem and haul, Rainbow Dash was already seen swapping out the juice boxes. The I hem and haul a lot. I don't know what that word means, by the way. Or phrase. It's hot in here. That brings me to my second point, though. 
Why go through all that trouble for a simple crime? Perhaps Miss Dash didn't have the aptitude to commit even a simple crime. Any fool can complicate matters far beyond what is necessary, as proven here. Did you just call me Why, I yada. Was that witness? Are you threatening a member of the court? Well, you threaten an threaten a member of the court. Your case against Rainbow Dash is not definitive, no matter what you say. Are you calling in question the testimony of my witnesses' defense? Do you wish for his honor to throw them all out? Is that it? Your attempts at equivocating have gone on for long enough. Yet here you are, rattling on like a steam engine on its last legs. Make your point, defense, or cease such noise. All right, fine. Here's the main sticking point. Sure, several witnesses have come forward against my client. And sure, Detective Reed has suggested the poison used in this case was Gricklegrass. But no testimony, nor argument from the prosecution, has been able to explain the Oh! I wonder if there's ice cream in my fridge. Yeah, remember what I was saying about this uh, room being hot right now? Well, uh, I got ice cream now. <laughs> My throat's been feeling a little bit, uh, eh, you know, it needs a little bit of soothing, so I got like a, ooh, wee! got a good old ice cream. The way a certain discrepancy. All right. That we can see if we look at one piece of evidence in particular. Uh, which piece of evidence, defense? The toxicology report. Hey, Must hello, toxicology. Look at this document. Gricklegrass matches the report's description line by line. Really? So you must see the line where it shows poison actually in the victim's body. I certainly don't see it from here. Oh, that's right. The toxicology report came back negative for poison, didn't it? Faulty reports can exist. We can clearly separate a clerical error from what's in front of us. The burden of proof falls on you, Prosecutor Luna. Stepping into this case without prop. No. Luna was very evidence oriented in the last case. Like, she was just like, nah, where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? And now it's kind of like she's dismissing the evidence now. Like, compared to Luna in the beginning of case two, it's so much more different. Like, her fall is so well written. For cause is grounds for an immediate dismissal of my client. Your Honor, enough proof has been demonstrated regardless of what the defense <clears throat> claims. Surely you can see what she's trying to do. She means to inundate us through sheer stubbornness and an absurd quantity of needless questions in order to distract us from the irreconcilable facts. There are irreconcilable facts, I will grant. But one of them is the lack of poison cited in the toxicology report. This is an attempted poisoning case. And without poison, you can't even have a proper trial to begin with. Your Honor, you must agree with that at least. Come on, Honor. Come on! I will say that this is a rather interesting dilemma. The toxicology report itself doesn't directly cite... We could do another toxicology report. Matters. I'm afraid I cannot overlook such a glaring Let's go, Judge! My, my man! The amount of evidence against the defendant is already compelling. She was seen actively swapping juice boxes with Streamline before her collapse. These two pieces should work in tandem, <coughs> but what we are seeing, clearly, is a disconnect. For if no poison was found in the juice boxes, then... Why was the defendant swapping them at all? That's what I've been wondering. Here's my chance. I'm counting on you to back me up, Phoenix. Why don't we ask my client that very question? Oh. I'm so glad we're getting this answer now. Because I do not want to wait till the next episode for that. Nah, nah, this is exactly what we need. Sonata, are you sure that's a good idea? It's a great idea. Rainbow didn't tell us everything the first Perfect. Episode. If we let her testify now, without any preparation, we might just have an even bigger <clears throat> problem on our hands. Do you Action! 
action. You gotta show that rainbow. You gotta show rainbow that she cares. Better idea. What about the toxicology privilege? If we asked for the test to be reevaluated, then we could get an extension. That report is the only thing keeping us here. The fact that it hasn't been clarified is our one ticket to keeping Rainbow from getting a guilty verdict right now. Besides, if we were to instead ask for it to be checked again, and Luna was able to confirm Streamline was... Well, then we're dead. Suck. Okay, I see your point. But this well, is still a big gamble. I'm almost out of ice you cream. Me to put on a show of it's just sad. I can't think of anything more of a show than this. We know she didn't have <laughs> poison streamline. I know she didn't do it. We all know she didn't do it. Is that she had another reason for swapping those juice boxes. Once I do that, the judge will have to dismiss this case. I think Rainbow is ready to spill her guts anyhow. I don't know how much longer she can hold herself back. Luna's been pretty rough on every pony today. He's not wrong. Rainbow is chomping at the bit over there. If we do this now, there won't be any turning back. <laughs> Jokes on you. I just turned back right now. <laughs> Prosecutor Luna, do you have any objections to make? No. The prosecution will allow Rainbow Dash to take the stand. If anything, the defense has finally made a move we are interested in seeing played. And if Interesting. It'll be the last move I need to make. Very well. Let the defendant take the stand. All right, Rainbow Dash, what do you got? What do you got for us? Defendant, <clears throat> state your name and occupation for the record. R R Rainbow Dash, I, I'm a wonderful reservist. For now, anyway. I take it you're aware of what you'll be testifying about? Yeah, I know. I was listening. Then by all means... Before we get into that, well, that's cold. <clears throat> I would just like to say that I finished my ice cream. It was really good. It tasted really good. I'm feeling less hot now. But I just want to take this moment to just give a give a nice little send off. One of the most known, longest standing characters here on the Mr. LP channel. The ice cream that, I, I, that I've just now eaten. <clears throat> I know it's very sad. I know we'll all miss him. He was there since the very beginning. He touched our hearts more than anyone ever could. And now... He's gone to a better place, a very cold, cold place. May he rest in peace. Oh, say can you see my God. Don't let my faith in you be for nothing. I was getting water. Wait, wait, wait. The truth. That's what it said. Okay. I admit it. I have been swapping out some of Streamline's juice boxes, even on the day she collapsed. But I didn't poison her. I'm innocent. But why were you switch? Why were you switching them? Get me started on that tornado business. I didn't cause that either. That's all I'm gonna say. I want to remain silent about everything else. <laughs> Right to remain silent again. Gosh dang it, man. It's a right for a reason. At least this time, we got some room to maneuver. True. <clears throat> Saying something is better than nothing at all. Hmm. Rainbow's not the only one practicing that right. That's unusual, given how Luna was acting with pain. Did the judge's warning pay off? Very well. <clears throat> Miss Sonata. You may cross-examine the defendant whenever you like. <clears throat> the truth. Okay. I admit it. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Okay, Luna. Jeez. Oh my god. Why not end this farce with that single admission and spare us all, defendant? What? Was that oh, I oh, the quickness. I love the quickness with that. Just just oh, straight to the point like Luna's always trying to do. Oh. Perhaps too oblique for you? I mean to say that you should admit that you are guilty and not delay the inevitable. I'm not doing anything like that, because I'm innocent. Ms. Dash, relax. Ms. Dash. Why? I will say that you are most definitely failing to live up to the element you are the bearer of. Okay. How? Your Honor, this is too far. Order! Cheese murder! I've been waiting 50 minutes 33 seconds in this video for you to say order once, Judge. And I get my cheeseburger and fries now. I agree. <clears throat> Prosecutor Luna, it's bad enough that you've interrupted the cross-examination like this, but please stop antagonizing the defendant. Your Honor, I mean not to antagonize, merely criticize. I mean... You sound like that to every pony else. Yeah... This case is of great importance. Yeah. Wonderbolt not only resists arrest, needing to be dragged away like a child, okay. but also continues to act so in court. How does that look to the citizenry? To have some pony behave with such juvenile arrogance when faced with a serious accusation. What does that say about the Wonderbolts? Have they abandoned their principles? Do discipline and esteem no longer matter? Are we meant to accept the idea that the Wonderbolts will let any pony into their ranks, regardless of how noxious they are? Noxious. Damn. The Wonderbolts appear to be a failing institution. A failing? Or at the very least, one with absolutely no standards. Prosecutor You're assuming things. By your honor. That's enough. I am done. Thus, my earlier comment has been proven. Um, what? Yeah, what, <laughs> what earlier that comment? The defendant is failing to live up to the element she is the bearer of. Behold, Rainbow Dash, the element of loyalty. A reservist for the team she supposedly cares for so deeply. Well, she does care for it deeply. But there is no more loyalty in you than in a stewed prune. Look at how she has betrayed the Wonderbolts in the most fashion. Dude. Wrecked all that they stood for. It is a tragedy that such a supposedly noble institution has crumpled into a mere shadow of what it once was. Look at whom who they've welcomed. Not a bright, fresh recruit, but an irredeemable killer. The She's not dead yet, though. Presence inflicts a loathsome, charnel stain upon their legacy. She the Febreze. She the Clorax. Stand on the team. Someone oh. like her has no place on the Wonderbolts. She shouldn't have been allowed at all. Oh, no. Rainbow Dash. I don't know if you should be saying that right now. But no pony believed me because I didn't have any proof. Don't you get it? One of us had to pony up and do something about her. Some pony who wasn't afraid of Rainbow Dash. Do the right thing. Rainbow Dash. Rain happened to streamline. She got what she deserved. And if I could do everything over, I would hold it. Rainbow, stop. What? Sonata asked me to testify. Rainbow, Rainbow. Oh, Rainbow. Didn't she? Isn't this what she wanted? Don't you realize what you just said? What I said was the truth. Oh. Rainbow, Rainbow, oh, Rainbow. We're cooked. We're, we're so cooked. 
It's over. We're done. We're cucked. This is it. It's over. There's no coming back from this. I, uh, objection? 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 Oh, there's no objection. Oh. Oh. That there's no objection. Oh. Thanks to the defendant herself, the motive has become quite clear. Rainbow Dash believed her fellow Wonderbolt reservist, Streamline, was a cheater. After failing to prove this accusation, the defendant took matters into her own hooves. A punishment most foul was concocted in place of any actual proof. With a plot conceived under the blackest of influences to torment Pony Kind, Rainbow Dash decided she would poison Streamline through the creation and eventual administration of a poison called Bricklegrass. The justification appears to be a warped sense of moral vindication. An arrogant way of thinking, I must say, as is to be expected of a vigilante. The end result is a mare very nearly losing her life after a serious collapse. All of the evidence presented points to this being the case. Thus, we are given means and motive. Oh. The prosecution rests. Means, motive, and causation. As much as I agree with what you've just said, that wasn't what I meant, Prosecutor Luna. I meant... Oh! You broke from procedure by interrupting the cross-examination. Not only that, but you then decided to start antagonizing the defendant and refuse to back down even after I instructed you to stop. This, on top of your earlier bickering with the previous witness, to say that your performance today has been shameful would be an understatement. I'm shocked you would act this way. I'm shocked too. I'm simply doing my duty as I see fit, Your Honor. Come on, Luna. Very There's well. something else. And I shall do mine. At the end of today's proceedings, I'm afraid you'll have to receive a penalty. That's fair. You were warned after all. I understand, Your Honor. It's fair. Said, though, I do agree with your summary of the case and the motive you put forth. While a bit unorthodox of a discovery, the defendant has indeed admitted to having felt the need to do something about the victim. She has clearly implicated herself, in my opinion. <clears throat> But you had many opportunities to provide counter arguments. While I'm sure this cross examination didn't go as you might have planned, you were the one who requested the defendant testify. Oh man. Sonata, please tell me you have something to offer as a rebuttal. We can't let it end like this. Stellar reasoning. Come on, Sonata. Come on, Sonata. Come on, Sonata. You got. You gotta have something. To cross -examine Rainbow properly now. Sure, the cross examination technically never ended, but Luna's right. Rainbow has both means and the to commit this crime. She's practically confessed to poisoning Streamline, even if that wasn't what she meant. Asking her to testify was a huge mistake. How could she admit to something like that, though? Why would you admit that you think Streamline deserved what she got? If there's nothing further, I'm ready to declare my- No, don't do it. Don't do it, please. Come on, Sonata, you got this. It's not over. It's not over till it's over. What do I do now? Oh, In order to Atticus! A guilty verdict, the prosecution must be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt the means, motive, and causation. And causation. The defense can to show there is doubt for at least one of those things. That's that's 
That's right. There's still one thing that hasn't been proven beyond causation. Doubt. The causation. How do I know, you ask? The symptoms of said poison are very distinct, and they are a perfect match with the victim's condition. Those symptoms are a combination of sweating, a dangerously high heart rate, lightheadedness, followed by vomiting, extreme anxiety, and eventual collapse. We got the epic music going on. We're coming back from the grave. Hmm. What's this? It says Streamline was apparently murmuring something right before she passed out. Streamline was heard weakly repeating the words, Stay, uh, so sorry. Up until the point of losing consciousness. Hmm. We got all the clues, we got all the evidence we need, we got all the stuff. No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. You wanna know what I think though? I think that streamline was hallucinating. Oh, I like that artwork. That was a pretty cool artwork. <laughs> Ooh. Alright guys, let's uh hold on. Hey, 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 you're spoiling, you're spoiling. Oh, uh, I'm gonna put hallucination in the first box. I don't know why. Um, missing juice box. Ah, I'm bad at matching. not the case. If we take what Captain Spitfire said at face value, there's a chance this could mean Streamline wasn't poisoned by Grass. In the case of Rainbow Dash... OBJECTION! OBJECTION! Oh, Luna doesn't yes. have a reaction. Nice. I think it's a little too soon for a verdict, Your Honor. Really? The prosecution disagrees. If anything, this is becoming needlessly protracted. Everything required to demonstrate the defendant's guilt has been proven. Everything? I wonder about that. Make your point and be done with it. <laughs> like I said, it's Gotta be smug. A verdict, seeing as how the true cause of Streamline's collapse has yet to be proven. Objection! Of all the things to try and argue against yet again, have you not read the incident report? Do you not recall Detective Reed's testimony about the symptoms the victim presented? The cause of Streamline's incapacitation was Gricklegrass poisoning. Your unwillingness to see that does not approve the facts. Oh, I'll admit, it certainly appeared like it at first. But there's one fatal error that has been made. Volcanoes! That's right! Volcanoes cause hallucinations. Is no such error. Streamline was suffering from the exact symptoms that we know Gricklegrass causes. That's true, but only if you ignore a certain other detail. What detail was Stay, that? uh, Miss, sorry. I certainly have read the incident report, Prosecutor Luna. Maybe it's time we double checked it. Uh, I love the smugness. Let's go. Right here. Streamline was heard weakly repeating the words, Stay, uh, so sorry, up until the point of losing consciousness. Uh, does that mean something, though? To Captain Spitfire, it does. She believes it was the result of a hallucination. And if we take that possibility into consideration, then it outright contradicts something else that has been presented to the court. Take that! The EBI. FBI, though. EBI? Exactly, Your Honor. As we can all see, nowhere does the report list hallucinations under the symptoms for Gricklegrass poisoning. That's right. That's right! Then <laughs> it's entirely possible that Streamline was not poisoned by Gricklegrass at all. There you go, Sonata. Let's go. Captain Spitfire 
Dyer was not brought in to testify about the possibilities regarding the cause of the victim's collapse? She is no expert, Defense, and you would do well to remember that. You're not seriously suggesting we just ignore this, are you? The report speaks for itself. This incoherent rambling from the victim must be unrelated. Could it be a prolonged condition the victim might have been suffering from prior to her poisoning? Well, hmm. you were pretty quick to bring up Streamline's medical records earlier, Prosecutor Luna. Let's bring them up again, Was there anything shall we? That might line up with this reaction? <laughs> 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 Your face defense. If it weren't that obvious, I'd have mentioned it. Then well, then mention it. That this was not an underlying condition. We concede nothing. This is merely some sort of rare, extraneous symptom of the poison. You'd like that to be the case, but I think you'll find it's not as simple as that. You recall Detective Reed's testimony. You've mentioned it after all. How about the part where he said that the symptoms for grickle grass are very distinct? Very a rare extraneous symptom doesn't fit with how the Equestrian Bureau of Investigation describes Grickle Grass, the supposedly easy to make poison. And we can't discount Stellar the reasoning. words of a mere amateur. No, those are the words of the head of the EBI. Can't argue with that. Most experts in all things crime. <laughs> yes, she's speechless. Looks like silence really is gold. Hey, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. She's about to say something. Proof positive that I'm on the right track. Nah, Luna's about to say something. Ah, oh, she didn't yes, say anything. Okay. While I understand where we're at, I can't help but wonder what the cause of this additional symptom was. Me! I caused a hallucination. It's certainly a mystery. Don't tell me it's another poison. <laughs> as easy as it would be to run with that. No. I need to get poisoning off the table. Or at least explain this hallucination in another way. No, Your Honor. I don't think so. This hallucination is likely the result of something else. But what, though? What was it Streamline said again? Stay, uh, so sorry. Stay that fresh! Doesn't really seem like doing anybody. meaningful, though. Some of it sounds exactly as Luna described it. Incoherent. Stay uh so sorry. Stay uh so sorry. Stay uh Stay, so uh, sorry. sorry. Hmm. Is it really nonsense though? Pinkie Pie nonsensical? You gotta dig a little deeper. You gotta dig a little deeper. There's some meaning behind it. Streamline wasn't in the best state when she was speaking after all. Maybe Dip down. Just misheard what she said. Misheard. Mm hmm. Hmm. Streamlines comment. Misheard statement. Bam. All we got left is the missing juice box. From the sound of it, it seems as though what might have been misheard was the first part of what Streamline said. Stay uh. But what does that Stay uh. What if it's a name? What was Streamline trying to say? What if Stay uh. Stay uh. Stay uh. What if that's just a name? Stellar. to even matter anyway. Whatever Streamline did say is unrelated to any of the evidence we found at the ex It's a long shot. It's really all I have at this point. Let's go for it. Dear Phoenix and Sonata. The first part of this is just small talk and spike. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Sweet of him. Not altogether relevant. Next is Ah uh, yes. Their investigation in Manhattan. Let's see. Stella. Stella. Stay up. Stella. Stella. It is a name. Is there anything here that has some significance? Anything at all? Come on. Stella, Stella, Stella. Stay a. Stella. Stay a. Did you do that 
I'm so smart. Oh, I'm so smart. Eureka, that's a new one. And so the two cases become connected. Ooh, and so the plot thickens. The missing juice box. Oh, no, never mind. Streamlines Mr. Comment and Stella. Man, I want to use the missing juice box. Could it really be that Streamlines wasn't saying stay uh so sorry, but rather Stella so sorry? Is this even the same mare, though? From... No, forget about that. Focus on making sure Luna doesn't instantly shut this possibility down first. Sonata, you okay? You've been kind of yes. sitting there thinking for quite a while. You're a path forward, at least. Good. Let him have it. Your Honor. Yes? While I can't explain what caused this hallucination, I can offer an explanation as to what it means. Well, that's more than what I'm capable of. <laughs> what does it mean? That will become apparent after looking at this. Take that. Blah, 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 blah. A letter? Yes. This is a letter related to another investigation taking place right now in Manhattan. Manhattan. I know that place. Oh, you must mean Miss Rarity's case. Uh, dreadful business, that. Objection! Your proclivity for addressing the irrelevant is tiresome defense. This letter has no bearing on the case at hoof. Well, you have no bearing Except on my face. Allow me to explain. You'll see exactly why it matters. Defense? What are you playing at? All right, Miss Sonata. I'll allow this. Now then, let's see here. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> Let's re let's hear the whole thing, man. Awesome. It means that uh, the relevant part is a bit further down, Your Honor. Sorry. Did you know that Overall used to come here with some pony named Stella? Do you see that? See what exactly? The the word the Stella. Prosecutor Luna. Stella. That's Stella. Can you say Stella? Stella. St 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 Stella. Oh, let's think back to what Streamline was heard saying right before she lost consciousness. Stay, uh, so sorry. Uh, I can't make heads and tails of what that's supposed to mean. Even now. She was apologizing. That much is obvious from the so sorry. But stay, uh, that was the tricky part. And here we are, with the answer right in front of us. Are you sure about this? Oh, I'm sure. It was Stella. Some pony whom Streamline knows and whose relevance to the Manhattan case may extend to the incident at Wonderbolt Academy. Objection! Well, I'm getting tired of your objections. No bounds, it seems. Not only are you asserting that the delirious comments made by the victim are relevant, but you're claiming they relate to a specific pony. Oh, absolutely. Have you any idea how many ponies go by that name? <laughs> It's not like I go by that name. Hi guys, my name is Stella. <laughs> you know, I've actually made a character that's named Stella. Hmm. Even if it is a possibility, what does it matter? This hypothetical mare the victim knew is completely inconsequential. Streamline's collapse is the issue, not this. Objection! An issue that has a glaring inconsistency. This hallucination can't be explained. All I've done is present an argument for what it could mean. P preposterous Stuff and nonsense, that's all this is! A as likely as Tartarus freezing over! But what if it did? Likelihood of this theory all you like, but you can't ignore the core problem. That this additional symptom, this hallucination, suggests the possibility that something else caused Streamline's collapse. 
Your Honor, it'd be too soon to declare a verdict, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Come on, Judge. You know you want to. I will give my opinion. While I do agree that the I will give my opinion. Hawaiian pizza is good. That's all. <laughs> I've actually never had Hawaiian pizza. Oh, I mean, sure, Goofy Goober. Lead to anything, or if it has any relation to the direct cause of the collapse. However, we find ourselves in a rather unique situation, don't we? At least for Mr. Wright and me. Uh, we do. What's what's going on, right? Oh yes, the victim is alive. Oh. oh that she is. Huh? Yeah. Man. What does it say when that's something of a rarity for us? That's that's kind of so, suck. Why not simply ask Streamline herself about this? Oh yeah. Start. That'd clear things up, wouldn't it? Yeah. I suppose so, Your Honor. Of course. Why didn't Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Streamline's still alive. Just ask her about Stella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stella. Mind pitching in every Puns. Bonds are the perfect the place for a courtroom. Nature of this hallucination concerns me, and I'd like for us to determine whether or not it has any relevance to the victim's condition. We still lack definitive. The courtroom is a perfect place for puns. That's what I meant to say. Not the puns are a perfect place for a courtroom. Explanation for this additional symptom, after all. Thus, this gives me enough reason to adjourn for today and resume this trial tomorrow. Does that sound acceptable to everyone? Sounds good. Yes, Your Honor. If that is Your Honor's wish, then yes, it will be done. Okay. That was okay, Luna. A bit too close for comfort, but I made it. By the skin of my teeth, I made it. Whew! Like that sweat well. off your brow. Court is now adjourned. Wha bam! Whew! That was it. Whew! What was it? Hey, Smithfire! How, how's it going, Smithfire? Oh, that was an episode and a half. Holy crap. Alright, now we got the... We got the credits. Alright, um... Actually, now I can kind of just, like... Ooh. I just, like, lower the volume so you guys can hear me. For my uh, thoughts in the episode. Oh, yeah. This was absolutely one of my favorite episodes of the case. If not... One of my favorite episodes I, in the whole series, maybe? Possibly. You know, I don't know if I would go that far, actually. But this was a really good episode. Luna, especially, was such a highlight in this episode. Her, her dialogue and writing and voice acting, everything about her, oh, it hit so hard. So, so, so very hard. Um, also, I mean, you gotta love Pinkie Pie in this episode. That was just absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Do you know the juice box, Mare? The juice box, Mare? The juice box, Mare! <laughs> Sunny Scar Scout. <sighs> I'm trying to think of other stuff that I haven't said. I feel like I kind of said everything I wanted to say during my episode reaction. I mean, it, it was just, it was just a good episode. It was a really good episode. It, it was just really heckin' good. Was it, it was kind of, this episode also just like fully focused on um, the whole Rainbow Dash um, courtroom case thing. And we didn't get any scenes with, um, with the main Hatteners. It was just pretty, I don't want to call it interesting, but... What's more importance on this, uh, what's more focus on this, um, side of the case, which for this episode, I, I believe it definitely needed the focus. Audacity.
Uh. Post credits, let's go. August 19th, 10.05 p.m. Brattleway Alleyway. But please. Stel Stel check on at speed. What's going on, Stella? Streamline? No, 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 no. Th this can't be it. I think Streamline just flew away. I can't. Did, did I do it, sis? Did, did I give you the life you wanted? The life you deserved? Or... Oh... Did you hate being here with me? Being... Cl I know you didn't technically ask for this. And it was selfish of me to want... Something different. Oh, that music. Oh! No. Film? Th that's a lie. What is that? I, I didn't do this just because I wanted something different. Date? Mail? Spilling some sort of machine? A bloody pantomime. The truth is. What? I feel like I'm in a movie right now. This score is I amazing. Did it to forget. What did you do? What did you do? Did you clone? Resurrect? Oh! Stella? Wait. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <sighs> that was a really good after credits scene, too. Oh. The perfect way to cap off this episode. I, d I don't know what to, th to, like, to think about that, though. Like, I don't I'm... The f the quick flash of the mirror pool. Like, did she... Cl two, two theories I have in my head right now. She cloned her sister, Espy, for some reason, to perhaps give her a better life that Espy wanted and Stella wanted to give her. I don't know how that would give her a better life, but... It can. I, it, it, sure, there's a possibility of that, but there's also the theory of, like, resurrection, maybe? Via the mirror pool? Did she, like, at the end there, did she, like, you know, die by her own means? Damn, dude. What was she, what was she planning? Like, what what was she what was she doing? What was that machine? Those blueprints, the, the calendar date. Like, huh? Like, what life did she want Espy to have? Why does she think that? Espy didn't like her. She hated being around her. And I assume Streamline was the one who was in the alleyway there in the very beginning. Why was she there? There's so many questions. Oh, but it's... Oh! Oh. This is why I love this series. This is why I love it. It's so tightly packed with so much detail and questioning and mystery. Everything has a reason, a motive, a cause, a purpose. It feels like everything is planned out from the start. 
Now, see what... Okay. I... Okay, I... Okay, listen here. I, I do write fanfics. I know shameless plug right now. So, believe me when I say planning out everything before you even start writing the actual, like, words and such is, like, impossible. Impossible. But the fact that it feels like they've planned everything out from even, like, before Case 1 even was uploaded, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And, that, like, that just... It deserves a round of applause. Because that is... It, it, that is so... Like, everybody who's working on this project is just so talented. Like, how do you do something like this on a monthly basis? It's truly incredible. Like, if you look at some of the TV shows that are main, being main, made today, like... Takes months to come out. They ain't making quality like this. Spending more time working on that. And look at these guys just doing it monthly and doing better things. And all the rest of the jokers out there were like, what the heck? It's truly amazing. It feels like they just don't forget any details, you know? Which is crazy. That's like absolutely crazy to think about. Like, with how much stuff that is packed into these three cases, how do you not forget anything? <laughs> like, it's it's so, it's so cool. It's so awesome. Like, the continuity is just... Mm. And the fact that they still call back to certain specific moments, it's just like, oh, it's mmm, it's mmm, it's... Oh, oh God, it's so good. Mmm, mmm, so good. Mmm, so good and tasty.